Falling rates impact a lot of people, especially those with rate locks over 4%. How does it impact our market today? Let's find out. Monday Rapid Recap starts now, so let's go. Currently, there are hundreds of millions of dollars of loans with mortgage rates between 4.5% and 7%. But when we saw rates drop for a few hours early last Monday, we saw a glut of refinance business. So even though those rates hit the low sixes only for a couple of hours last Monday, the glut of refinance business was clear. And bottom line, we have to be prepared because that market is going to pop once we get into the low fives. But hold your horses. Unfortunately, two pieces of economic data came out last week that put the rate rally party on hold. The first bit of information was retail sales. Yep, that's you, me, your wife, your brother, your sister out there spending money. Hey, a lot of people don't even have that money, but they're running that credit card dead up. The American consumer is spending, and it put the rate rally on hold, pushing bond yields higher. The other bit of information that's getting a lot of attention are jobless claims. Why? Well, the Fed is looking closely at the economic situation when it comes to employment. They're looking for any signs of the labor market slowing. And each week we get this jobless claims number. It's important to look at prior to the big number that comes out the first Friday of every month. And now I'm serious. I want you to write this down. Between now and the September Fed meeting, we have five more rounds of jobless claims data, which comes out on Thursdays. We get the BLS jobs report, ADP also, all giving us indications of what's happening in the labor market. And then finally, the dreaded CPI number, which could push the market higher or lower in a heartbeat. Write it down. Now this week is pretty quiet. Fed Chair Powell speaks at Jackson Hole Symposium, and we'll hear if he's more dovish or more hawkish when it comes to the rate cut cycle that he's looking to do. We also get a new and existing home sales. In the meantime, mortgage rates have settled in at the national average right around 6.5%. All right, have a good week, everyone. It's going to be quiet, so we'll keep our eye on the market if it fluctuates one way or the other. Have a good week.